Hello friends, in this video we are discussing about generation of bioelectricity from anaerobic bacteria by using microbial fuel cell. This is the project report. My name is Mohamed Asif. Let's get started. This is the content page, microbial fuel cell, MFC basics, approaches, MFC design, utilization of wastewater, workflow, application, advantage and future scopes. Okay, uh, what is microbial fuel cell? <coughs> Microbial fuel cell is a bioelectrochemical bio device that converts organic material into the electrical energy by the use of microorganism, which means microorganism used as a biocatalyst to facilitate the movement of electrons throughout their system instead of traditional chemically catalyzed oxidation of the fuel at anode. Okay, like uh, you can see this picture. In this picture, has the microbial fuel cell block diagrams, like. Uh, Left left hand side is the anode chamber. Left right hand side is the cathode chamber. Anode chamber filled by the organic materials and as well as the assembled uh, as, as as well as the fill the microorganism. Microorganism is the digest the digest the organic material and produce the electron and electron and proton. Electron electron is uh, flow the external circuit and uh, proton is uh, pass through the pro Proton ex proton ex conducting mem separators, proton exchange membrane. We can say like that. Okay, and uh, anode anode side at the at anode side the poor oxygen, uh, poor oxygen and cathode side is the oxygen rich region. Okay, like uh, and the approaches. The solution of the wastewater is considered to be the good source, which acting as a neutron mi microbial source. And various type of wastewater can be used as a feed stocks for microbial fuels and in which the ele exo -electro electrogenic microorganism produce electron and anaerobic bacteria. Okay, a specific microbial stain work isolated from the wastewater. We can is uh, I isolate the I isolate the specific type of uh, stain from the uh, wastewater. Uh, the name of that uh, that is that stain is the geobacter sulfur resistance, and the, it's confirmed by the uh, microbial examination and biochemical test te test. Okay, in the lab. Uh, this is the MFC design. Uh, different types different types of configuration are possible to design this uh, uh, MFC, and widely used to two chamber uh, basically. MFC built in the traditional H shaped two chambers connected by the connecting by the external wires external wires okay and separated by the tube containing separator that called cationic exchange membrane or salt bridge we can say like the graphite electrode is suspended into the anode graphite uh, graphite electrode is suspended into the uh, anode chamber and cathode chamber uh, chambers uh, respectively which is connected by the external wires Okay, and uh, external wires is joined with the multi uh, multimeters. Like this, you can see this picture. This picture is a utilization of waste water. How you utilize the waste water and the microbial utilized biodegradable organic waste in the anode, which produces the electron and donors. Donors means hydrogen, not a hydrogen proton. We can say, okay, and uh, flow of electrons and proton. Left left side is present the anode chamber anode chamber actions okay electron produces uh, from the organic uh, organic materials and organic materials and first transfer to the anode surface and second migrate via the electrical wires to cathodes and electrons okay and the left side and the right side is produces the proton Pro proton migrate via the electric electrolytes and second migrate to membranes and protons and combined both in the uh, consume via consume via the cathode cathode chambers and uh, by the reduction of the electro electron acceptor and generation of bioelectricity finally outcomes okay and this is the workflow which is uh, which is performed in the labs so first the sample collected from the cafeteria, uh, canteen cafeteria and isolate and screening and identification of the isolates on the basis of various training and procedure bio biochemical testings and the second the, and construction of the microbial cells and assembling of these active microbes and wastewater and anaerobic environment and the fi finally we will uh, calibrate the current and voltage also by the help of multimeters 
you, we can say, you can see this picture this is the uh, this is the anode chamber uh, left side and right side is the cathode chamber and between uh, and, se and and separated by the uh, specific type of separator this called is the proton exchange membrane which is which is uh, flow which is uh, an anode produces the proton and which proton pass through the proton exchange membrane uh, to the cathode chambers okay and electron flow the fl uh, flow the external circuit from the anode to cathodes uh, like this is the result this is the small graphs you, you can predict the like uh, uh, voltage um, voltage versus vol voltage versus current density and voltage is the uh, y axis and current density is the x axis okay polarization curve for mfc application and what is the application of that it's a huge application and first is it uh, microorganisms can perform the double duty of the degrading effluent and generating also powers and microfuel cells presenting under serious con consideration as a devices to produce electrical power in the source of treatments industrial agriculture municipal wastewater developing of energy efficient biofuels cells could be the useful in the biomedical sciences and future scopes and future scopes basically the future scopes uh, mfc may be the link to municipal wastewater stream or source of agriculture animals uh, waste providing sustainable system for the wastewater treatment as well as the energy productions uh, with the increasing of energy charge charge globally it is very essential to develop the as eco friendly alternative as energy source beside the existing solar power okay it's a very uh, very useful existing uh, beside the uh, beside the existing solar, solar powers and by using a specific strain of microbes power efficient biofuel cell to the developed and since the process is the environment friendly highly efficient cell cells could be the made in the future to cope with the uh, upcoming fuel crisis and environment degradations and advantage is a uh, first is a less sludge disposal and low operation cost and good resistance to environmental stress okay and this is the thanks